before we graph another exponential function, I want to show you how to evaluate an exponential function using a calculator. I think most of you probably have already, um, you know, have done this at some point or another, um, but just we'll show you how to do it on a on a TI. So for the first, we'll just look at the values that we um, that we got for the f of x equals two to the x. All right, so if I want to do 2 to the negative 2, I hit the 2, and I use the caret key right above the clear, and then hit the negative, the one in parentheses, and then hit 2, and then hit enter. And to do 2 to the negative 1, we do the same thing. We do 2, caret key, negative in parentheses, and the 1, and hit enter and you get your decimal values. So uh, we're going to be using the calculator to evaluate more complicated exponential functions, but you should be able to graph a basic exponential function um, without a calculator. All right, so now let's graph an exponential function where the base is less than 1. Okay, so this, this is a case where the base is between 0 and 1. And we're going to graph f of x equals 1 half to the x. And so we'll take 1 half and raise it to the negative 2. Now that's the equivalent of flipping over or taking the reciprocal of and changing the exponent to positive or just basically 2 squared which is 4. So if we have 1 half to the negative 1 really that's just the reciprocal of 1 half which is 2. 1 half to the 0 is equal to 1. 1 half to the first power is equal to 1 half and 1 half squared is equal to 1 fourth. And so we'll plot these points. One half, so we're going to say at negative 2 we've got a value of 4. At negative 1 we've got a value of 2. At 0 we have a value of 1. At 1 we're at a half. At 2 we're at a quarter. And you can see here that why that's doing that to me. Um, it does not want to plot that point. Um, you can see now that, and if I if I had added, um, say we did 2 to the, uh, or 1 half cubed, we'd get 1 eighth. And so it's getting closer and closer again to the x-axis, only this time this function is decreasing as opposed to increasing, like when we did f of x to the f of x equals 2 to the x. We also have a horizontal asymptote, which is the x-axis, which is y equals 0. So if we just scroll up, and if you, I'll scroll up, and you just look up to when we graphed uh, f of x equals 2 to the x, you can see that this is an increasing function. It does have a horizontal asymptote. Um, but I want to focus on three special points, because when, I, uh, when you're going to be asked to graph an exponential function, I don't want you to have to graph too many points. We want to keep it simple. And so if we focus on these three ordered pairs, right, when x equals negative 1, when x equals 0, when x equals 1. When x equals negative 1, you're just taking the reciprocal of the base. When x equals 0, the value of the exponential function is going to be 1. And when x equals 1, the base is going to be your value. And so when we look down, let's slide down and the same thing here. If I focus on these three points, as long as I know these three points and I know the asymptote, I can get a pretty good idea of the graph. Um, so we'll, we'll I'll, I'll go over this when we graph an additional graph. But let's let's just kind of summarize the characteristics of an exponential function. Um, one, I want to look at the domain and range. We'll start with the domain. And so when you look at this, look at this graph. Um, there's no value that, that I'm not allowed to put in here that would not result in a real number. So the domain is all real numbers. Right? I'm allowed to use any x value I want as an exponent. The range for both of these basic exponential functions, the, the x-axis is an asymptote, and so our smallest y value, and actually it's not, we approach it, but we don't hit it, so we're going to have an open parenthesis, and then we're going to go to infinity. We're going to go from 0 to infinity. Right. 
here's our domain and range. Um, we're going to have three special points. And we'll say this generically. Uh, 0, 1, for all functions that are in the form of f of x equals b to the x, 0, 1 is going to be on your graph. When you have an x value of 1, your base is going to be b, whatever your or your value is going to be b. So 1b is on the uh, graph. Here we had when x was equal to 1, y was equal to 1 half. Okay. And then when x equals negative 1, you just take the reciprocal of the base. So you get 1 over b. So negative 1, we got the reciprocal of a half up here, and which was 2. So those are the three special points. Basically, if b is greater than 1, your function is going to be increasing, as in the case of f of x equals 2 to the x. If b is between 0 and 1, your function is going to be decreasing, like this one right here. Okay. Um, you have, for both of these, you have a horizontal asymptote of y equals 0. Okay. And one other point I'd like to note is that this is a one-to-one -one function So one one function and one to one functions have inverses and we'll we'll deal with that idea later in the unit.